Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very, very well. Today we're gonna to be going out and trying the car at night, but I'm actually gonna be changing something that might make the autopilot not quite as good or I'm not 100% sure. So currently I've got auto wipers on, as you can see hopefully in the screen on the left, uh, and the auto wipers are set on, and I've also got the auto headlights on. So the headlights will full beam as they are now and turn off full beam when there's a car in front or if someone comes on the other side of the road, etc etc now i tend to drive at night a lot with my full beams off the main reason for that is that i can then see cars coming i can see cars coming that around corners i wouldn't have expected and i actually really enjoy driving with the lower light when especially if i'm driving a long way and stuff otherwise i'll get heavy eye fatigue etc etc to each their own you don't have to drive with full beams on obviously there is no law against it or for it it just says drive safe and you know i can see pretty well without my four beams on but can the tesla i honestly have no idea can a tesla see as well if i actually turn the full beams off so you can see right now that we're on full beam so this is the brightness and i'm gonna ping it off and it's it's quite dark after the first i don't know maybe 30 meters or so so it does get quite dark now will the tesla work okay in this light or will it struggle because it can't see quite as far? Now, I'm gonna keep the speeds lower on this video just because of that. So, for example, whenever the speed limit is, I will be doing at least 10 miles an hour less than that. So, currently the speed limit is set at 60, I'm doing 50. Nice and simple, and hopefully that keeps everyone happy. Um, but also, it is later at night, it is nine o'clock. There is no one on the roads, really, especially on my side. And yeah, this should be, hopefully, pretty fun. Except in, 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 a, in like the 40s and stuff. I'll do 45, 40 and a 50 is, in my opinion, almost dangerously slow. So you can see that obviously with the lights not turning on and stuff, we're not gonna be annoying every, anybody, so we're not gonna get any flashes from people thinking that the auto light system, or whatever it's called, auto headlights, auto beam, uh, isn't quick enough, because sometimes it's definitely not quick enough. And also we'll be able to see from that how it reacts with other people shining their lights into us. Now this is a route I do a lot, but we're doing it in reverse compared to the normal way I do it. So we normally have an issue here, but it did that absolutely fine without any problems. Actually very, very comfortably. I was expecting it there to potentially even go down left slightly even more because the lines aren't anywhere to be seen. But as you can see, so after our bit of light ahead of us, it pretty much goes into complete darkness. So that's something that the system's gonna have to obviously work with. Let's bump it up to 50 here. So I'll do 50, I'll do 50 and 60s, and I'll do 45, 50s, then I'll do 40s and 40s, because I don't think we have any 40s actually coming up. So there's no left line, in case you're wondering. There is definitely no left line on this road. The right one is pretty faded because this is a lovely overtaking road, so a lot of people do cross over here. And it's kind of like we're going into darkness. Now, I have actually said to Tesla, um, Tesla, some people say I te say Tesla, it's just Tesla, I don't know. Um, some I, I have actually spoken to them because I said, I feel that my lights are set quite low. I feel that they should be slightly higher. Um, and apparently you can adjust it if you were towing and stuff, but this is the correct setting. Although I, I just feel that it sh should be a little bit higher so I can see a little bit further when they're not on full beams. So a little dip here to the right, but it handled that very nicely actually with no problems. And this does get very windy at the moment, uh, in a minute as well. So we're gonna see how the Tesla actually goes around that. And also we're getting a little bit of rain. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because obviously I haven't got lights full beaming so it's not like bouncing up but there is a little bit of water landing on the windscreen autopilot is set to sorry auto wiper is set to two and we're going to see how that deals with it whoa okay so it came off there just because i was driving how i would normally drive and it tried to tuck in a little bit too close to the left So I keep my hands on the wheels at all times and I drive, yeah, you see there, I could feel that going into that left kind of potholey bit and I really don't like that. But you can also see actually it's slowing down for me. It's slowing down all the way. Wow, I've never noticed that. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm not accelerating or braking. It's on traffic aware cruise control. And it actually slowed down to 
29 around that corner all by itself. Wow, I've never noticed it do that before. That's very cool. By the way, I'm on 2018.50.6. A little bit of a skew if there, I think, when it saw the lights coming at it. Again, we've got an insanely tight left turn. No one around us, no one on the other side of the road, and no one on our side of the road. So let's see how it handles this one. It's slowing down for us. It is slowing down. We're going down to 40. Again, I'm not doing any of this. Ah, uh, it came off because it tried to turn way too early left and we, we would have curbed it and we would have been in there. But you can see actually it's, it's for some reason set it down to 30s, which I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe, oh, I think because when it comes off autopilot, I think it sets the traffic aware cruise control at whatever speed it comes off. But this is gonna be the test coming up in a minute. So it's actually never done those corners before. So I wasn't expecting it to do any of those corners. But the corner, oh, that was bright. The corners we've got coming up are um, a little bit tougher and normally it has a lot of light for it. So let's see how it deals with it. Again, we're going 50 around these, which is what I've done, I think on the other ones. Well, actually I might have brought it down to 45 for this next corner. So I will make it nice and fair and do the same thing. It wasn't slowing down for it by itself, but it did that corner really, really well. And then we've got a right here. Again, very satisfyingly done. When autopilot works correctly, it feels so good. It really, really, I almost, so my car's called Doom. I, yeah, I don't know why, Doom the, it's all black. Doom the all black Tesla. Um, I don't know, I, I just, I, I feel, I feel really connected to this car anyway, but I'm like, you've done it. You, you can ask Holly, my, uh, my fiance, or nearly said girlfriend, I'd have been in trouble. Um, yeah, I constantly am like, well done Doom. You've, you've done well. She's like, why? It's like, it did a corner that it didn't do before. So it seems pretty happy on these roads. I don't know why we have no left line markings here in Wiltshire, but it really does irritate me. I'm actually moving house, hopefully within the next month or two. And the new roads I've got available to me are amazing and actually amazing for autopilot in terms of the lanes are so good. So I'm really excited to bring you that content. Also, don't forget everybody that I'm actually running a giveaway for an Elon Musk signed black edition wall connector that you cannot buy anywhere anymore and you definitely can't buy it signed so make sure you enter that giveaway it's completely free and worldwide yeah that's a cool thing too okay so we're coming into a 30 now so what i'm going to do is bring it down nice and early so that we go through at roughly 30 but that did it really well so what i'm hoping there is no one behind us uh, for for the foreseeable past <laughs> and I'm really hoping that it will do all of these corners here at Avebury so if you didn't know Avebury is um, it's kind of like linked with Stonehenge there's loads of stones here that a lot of people find impressive but if you live here you kind of get used to it uh, but basically there's this s-bend coming up now that is hellish especially in the day because of tourism there's no tourists here now but I said previously that I've, I've come around this corner and people have just run out of me. So yeah, it's not slowing down. I'm gonna slow down because as you can see, I like to go around this corner at 15 miles an hour and I like to do this corner at 15 miles an hour as well. Whereas the Tesla was going at full pace. I was hoping there it was gonna slow down on its own, but it didn't. So we're gonna stick down to 20. Again, there's no one around us, so this is fine, but this is a 30 anyway, so there's no problem going 20 down here because I wanna see if it does this right turn. We've got it on autopilot. I've been able to do it left before. Let's just see if it does the right turn. Is it gonna do it? No, it wasn't. It was going up. I felt it carrying on and going slightly up on the left there and it was gonna go onto that grass verge. So sadly it had to pull off, but it was really close up until that. And then again, at this point, we normally start going onto the other side of the road slightly because no central road markings and oddly a left road marking appears. But no, it did it fine. It did that absolutely fine. I'm wondering if because it can't see quite as far, or at least I, I don't think it can, I assume that the array of cameras are set at completely different exposures and all this kind of stuff so that it can basically see at night, but it did that better than at daytime, which is quite interesting. And let's speed this back up to 50. Okay, so all the way up to the top of this road should be okay. 
but again it's very hard to see past pretty much 20 30 meters ahead and that's being generous to be totally honest but we get a left lane here left line sorry because again because it's a tourist area oh yeah so as i was saying i i've had on multiple occasions and it's always been the same people i've had asian people in families hold hands and literally run with their heads down across the road I, and, and not look for traffic. I don't get it. I guess they've been waiting there a long time and they just kind of went for it. But that kind of scared me when they did that. So I don't like to autopilot through there through the day. So you can see there we were actually hitting the cat's eyes in the middle of the road. So it was slightly to the right. Whoa, okay, that was going way too close to the left. Not sure what it was thinking there, but I had to quickly jab it to the right to save my alloys and front bumper or fender. I don't know, I don't know what, what Americans call it. Okay, on to our lovely wide 60 road. And I am gonna do 60 up this bit just because it's so wide, it's a lovely road and it, it rarely ever fails. And that's a very, yeah, come on Doom. I've said that you don't, actually, I don't think it's ever failed until we get to like the bit where it's two lanes on the right hand side and a single lane on the left which i know is not a dual carriageway but i say dual carriageway because it's easier but yeah i've never had a problem on this side so come on doom prove me right but then again i've never done this at night on normal lights not full beams Now this is where the road gets pretty wide and I'm just wondering if because of it getting so wide and the lights potentially not being quite as bright and obvious obviously that it just might might ping pong us around in a minute because it does look like we're going into darkness but again I'm hoping that the car uses its GPS and all those kind of things but I just don't think it does at the moment but it's doing that very, very nicely. And it's keeping us pretty pretty central, maybe slightly to the right, which is actually what I would want it to do, if I was being honest. If I was driving, I would be further on the left if it was busy, because like I've said, a lot of people overtake while they're kind of on this road and it, it turns into like a middle overtaking lane. But this is pretty comfortable. now. What? Oh, that guy full beamed us last second. Thanks. Wonder if it's going to slam on because of this car or do anything. No, the line is nice and clear. And it didn't have a problem. It was a Fiat 500. That's funny. That references an old video. Okay, so this is where I've had issues before. Now, it goes to two, two lanes on the right, so a dual carriageway on the right, even though it's not, it's still a 60, blah, 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 comment below. Um, on the left-hand lane, we stay in a, a normal left-hand lane, but it gets, it has a slight camber to the left. Oh, oh. And as you can feel, or hear, hopefully, there's potholes every 10 meters for drains and stuff. And we do come down into a 40, so we do have to start slowing it down. So I'm going to actually dip it five. So I'm going to go down to 55. But it's handling this pretty well, actually. Pretty happy with how this is handling this so far. But as you can see, because there's like a walkway on the left, that's where it gets confused. Oh, big dips there. I'm going to bring it down again. Another five. Another five. And another five, and we should hit this gate at 40 exactly. All right. So in an earlier video, when the wipers turned on, they actually started to make issues. So what I'm gonna really quickly do is just put my wipers on full. Actually, I'm gonna wet, wet it first, just so there's a little bit of liquid on there for it. There we go. And just see what happens. This is something people have asked me to do, so I'm doing it. It shouldn't have any issues to be totally honest, and it, it's not. So, there we go. Hopefully hopefully that sorted that out. I felt so bad doing that to the wipers, but they're only wipers. 
Again, it's dealing with this really, really nicely. We've not had really any hiccups actually down that whole road. I think this might be the first time it's done that without a hiccup. And if we can get all the way like to Khan, it's gonna be the first time it's done all this by itself. I remember in the earlier, if you watch my videos from like a year or two ago, at this uh, speed change here, I once had it where it just kind of like veered out, which was really, really strange because the road widens. Whereas now I'm pretty confident in saying that it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna bring it back up to 60 because it's a wide, look at that, it just goes straight. Whereas before it, it really tucked into the right. It did it slightly there actually at the end. So the road again is really, really wide here and it's tucking very closely to the left. But it, it knows the road, it can see the road fine. There's Aussie's kebab, one of the best kebabs if you like kebabs. And at this point, it can get a little bit confused because this is a middle area that you could turn right to go to Compton Bassett, which is where Robbie Williams used to live. And I used to live, but obviously Robbie Williams may be a bit cooler. And the lane does disappear slightly there, but the Tesla was fine with it. I'm gonna slow it right down again as we hit this 40 junction, or gateway and junction ahead. And yeah, it's doing really well. Taking that corner without trouble. And now we're getting back into town and it's a nice lit up area. So there we go. Did the low light affect it? No, and debatably that was actually one of the better drives we've ever had. And funnily enough, the last video I recorded before this was another nighttime video and that was very successful. So at night, it's actually better. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that out just now. At nighttime, it does seem a little bit better, which is a little bit odd. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment anything down below that you want. Make sure to like the video and uh, enter the giveaway by subscribing, following on Instagram and all that jazz. And don't forget, everybody, drive safe.